Well guys, it's been a it's been a busy day in Valencia and I just want to know that I've got more skills more skills than just vlogging so <laughs> what I'm going to do now I'm going to show you how I eat sometimes not always it's not always microwave meals so yeah so this is what I'm so substitute a lot oh yeah Balti curry okay but I've just diced up my uh, chicken I've got my uh, red peppers I've just diced up onions and I've got fresh mushrooms as well. So, yeah, my, I have to agree, the rice is out of the pack. I've not done it. Um, got my oil. Okay, come on, there we go. Put a little bit of oil in. So here we are. Okay. So if I take it off there now, I'm, I'm going to take it off focus so you can actually see it down there. Right. Okay. I'll bring the chair a little bit closer so you've got it there. Okay. So you've got the food. Okay. We're recording. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get the chicken and put that on. In fact, all this is going on in one go. You've got chicken, red peppers, mushrooms, and onions. All fresh, okay? So that's all good. Listen to that, guys. So I'll put those over here. And one of the first things I do whenever I'm uh, making something, I make it all the time. I uh, always like to season. Make sure it's lots of seasoning. Bit of pepper. If we have smell of it, like that, it smells lovely. All the way up. So we're using the pariyaki, it's not anything else, it's the pariyaki. People don't know me, I don't know what's going on. Okay. The good thing about using this, it's so easy to clean up this, and you're not using your own gas. So we'll let this cook for about five, ten minutes. And then what we'll do, I'll show you what we'll do. We'll put the rice on, break the egg, mix it with the rice. So we've got stir-fried rice separately. And I'll mix this in separately. It'll put the sauce in over here. And hopefully, we'll be all done. So you can see the food cooking there, guys. It's uh, really doing nice. So it's fresh chicken breast from... Uh, Mercadona, the, the Mercadona that damaged my, well it didn't damage my, it scuffed my uh, roof bar on Earl. I've been telling Earl he's got a, he's got a man up and, well, van up actually, because he's not a van, he's a van, isn't he? So he's got a van up. I, I haven't tried to uh, clean it out. I'll do that next day or two, see if it comes out. This is looking nice. I think it needs a little bit more seasoning. I know there's quite a lot there, but it reduces down a bit. But I'm a grown man. So hopefully that's going to stay on okay. It's still sitting away nicely. I'm just going to go and check. Nothing's tripped out. That sounds okay to me. But I'm just going to check in the van, make sure. Everyone's on still. 
Yeah, that's good. That's very good. That smells absolutely gorgeous. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in over here. So that carries on cooking there. That's it, you've got to make sure the meat's all cooked and it's getting there. This teriyaki cost me £35 when I was in commerce and someone said you need to get one. I think it was uh, John and Carol, they went, you need one of these. And you know what, oh my God, it's probably one of the best pieces of kit I've got. Obviously, because I've got the 460 amp lithium battery, I can, uh, and I've got the 3000 watt inverter, I can use this when I'm off grid as well. Don't use it that often, but I do use it. It's just nice. So that's all looking quite good there now. So what we look at doing now, now we've got a lot in there. Get our rice. I've warmed it up already in the microwave, so it's easy to do. Okay, warm the rice up. Right, yeah, right, so. I'm going to add a little bit of water to the rice because it's, uh, it's obviously packet rice or pre-cooked pre so by adding a little bit of uh, water it softens it up a little bit so we'll do that now And what it does, it steams it up again, which is nice. So we've got we've got the chicken and all the, all the other things now cooking, the chicken, the onions, the mushrooms and the peppers. They've all been seasoned. I'm not going to season the rice, it doesn't need it. And I'm going to add an egg. Okay, I've not done this before, so this is all... Not, not as an egg. Uh, stir fried not. So the egg goes in there, let's pick it up. So egg fried rice, that's what we're after. I have to say it looks nice, it's looking really good. So this is uh, Earl's first cooking lesson. Simple, simple meal, healthy. It's all uh, apart from the sauce, which I need to start getting some spices and start doing it myself. I think because I think you know what you got get, you know what you got going into it, and you can just make it taste just right for yourself. Saying that these sauces they're from uh, Aldi. I'm not sponsored by Aldi, but they're from Aldi, and they are lovely. I've already used the, the spice that was on top of it because I'm a bit of a cheat, I've used it elsewhere on another meal. And that sauce smells absolutely gorgeous. So we'll keep that separate. Although it doesn't need to be separate, that's all lovely cooked that now, look at it. Lovely colours on there. That's, uh, the onions are caramelised and so are the peppers. So what we'll do now, we just add some of this here. Not all of it. Uh, so that's enough. We'll, that we'll keep this for here. Keep it separate. We'll just mix this lot in a bit here. And I tell you now, that smells amazing. And again, if it's too thick. If you think it's too thick, you just have a little bit of water 
and it's just a splash of water just to make the pool a bit more runny. Yeah. We'll just leave that for a minute. Turn the heat down a bit because we don't need it too hot because that rice is burning, I think, now, if I leave it on there. So, so it's not burned, but yeah, it's ready. Not one for cooking, really. Well, not on video. So this is the first attempt. I can cook. My best meal I can do is a roast dinner, roast, roast beef. Not good with the Yorkshire puddings though, I have to buy those, but I'm an expert at getting all of it timed and lovely fat covered uh, roast potatoes, that looks nice doesn't it? Right, while we're waiting for that, there's one more thing to do, of course there is. So it's soap my San Miguel and say cheers to you all, okay, that is almost ready to go. So what do you think of it? Marks out of town. You tell me. It smells really good. It looks really good. There's quite a lot of it there though, look at that. No, no. So I'm happy to turn that right down now. Right down. That's all cooked. Don't call me greedy. There we have it, it's looking good. Not, not, not too much rice to be honest, it's just perfect. Enough for, enough for one person. Might be a bit too much rice actually, but can't waste it. Can't waste rice. Okay, we'll leave that there for now. We can always come and get some more rice after. Okay. And then we we'll go to this part here. This is all ready now. This is perfect. And it looks like I've got a bit for supper later on as well if I want it. I'll use That'll do for now. So there we have it guys, Lee's first video of his uh, camp lifestyle, eating wise. So I hope you enjoyed that, I'm going to enjoy it now. So I'm going to say adios amigo, speak to you later, yum yum.